Hi guys, you okay? Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah? Great, thank you. So, I'm here to talk about why the modern marketeer should fall back in love with print again. It's a channel that I feel very passionately about and hopefully today you'll go away thinking the same. So hi, I'm Chris. I'm the sales director from Precision Proco. Um, first of all, I'm a massive print enthusiast, but also typical Glaswegian. I'm an absolute lover of Iron Brew. Um, I don't know if you know this, but since 1901, when Iron Brew was created, um, only three people actually know the full recipe. So I'm kind of glad that there's more than three here today. So thank you for coming along. Um, before I get started into talking a little bit about our business and also why digital loves print, um, can, any, can you guys raise your hand if you currently use print as part of your marketing channels? Ah, oh, damn, that means that you all know everything about print then. Um, can anyone also give me an example of when they've actually received a piece of mail or a piece of print that's actually that they remember? Can anyone think? Yeah? All right, okay. So what was, what, how did that make you feel then when you received that? Okay. What brand was that from, if you don't mind me asking? Okay. And so that, that linked in with the digital approach as well. Okay, that's great. Does anyone else want to give us an example? I mean, I'll, I'll tell you my example and the actual reason why I'm in the print industry today. Um, so when I was about seven, um, the th I received a piece of mail through the post um, and it was on my birthday. So it was obviously a birthday card um, and I actually said Master Christopher Malloy on it. And no one had ever called me Master before. So for me, it was, was kind of like, well, what's this all about? I've never had this before. Um, and so I opened it up and it was a birthday card that had 50 pounds in it. So for me, that was a lot of money. And it was actually from my auntie Jackie and my Uncle John. And my Uncle John actually owned a print company. So from that day, I said, that's where the money is. So that's why I moved into print. And that's my story around why I'm in this industry. Um, so I work for Precision Proco. Um, and over the last four years as a business, we've grown 20% year on year. So we went from 50 to 78 million or 75 million turnover. Um, We've also seen over the last 12 months that the DM volumes in our business have increased by 33%. So for me, that shows that DM and print are here to stay and as a channel, and it's why I'm still part of this um, industry. We're a local business who offer global reach with our brands and our partners. Our mission as a business is to um, basically automate and collaborate and be easy to use and easy to choose for our clients and brands. And then we're a very customer driven business. So a lot of what we've done and a lot of our success is actually from our customers and the clients that we work with. And also one of the reasons why we've grown so much over the last four years is actually through the partnerships that we've built and the, some of the brands that are actually here today. So some of the brands that we currently work with or are in partnership with are like Force24, who's one of the sponsors here today. We collaborate on multiple clients and how we join up the digital and the offline channels together. Zappost as well, who are talking after me. So Andrew over there, he'll be speaking next. So um, we are the production partner for Zappost, which is an automated DM platform. Um, and that, going back to what I said about that local production, global reach, we, we are part of a network called Bscoot, which is a worldwide network of around about four and a half thousand different production businesses in, across the globe. So that's every, every business in the world who has a Hewlett Packard printing press. We are part of that network and John Bailey is a CEO. He's the chairman of that. So what, what that's enabled us to do is with our brands, we can basically produce in the UK, but we can also produce in Germany, US, Spain. So we've got that global reach and a local production partner or partners. And we also, as part of our other partnerships, we work really closely with um, lots of data businesses. So 20CI, who are a home mover um, data partner. Um, DBS, who specialise in lifestyle data. And then we also work with a brand called Paper and Pixels, who's 
focus directly on the direct, the direct response message that they try to get across in your DM, and that's how we make it more powerful. So, so for me, partnerships are key, and bringing the right partner at the right time for our clients delivers real value and trust in what we're doing. We don't want to be a jack of all trades. We want to be a business that is trusted in our expertise, which is print, and then we can bring the right partner in to talk to you guys about how you amplify everything that you do. So these are just some of the brands that we currently work with um, across UK and Europe and also US. You might be surprised to actually see um, some brands on there. So for example, Google, who we've worked with for a few years now, they're, they are probably one of the biggest users of DM in the UK. You wouldn't think it would have been such a massive tech brand, but they use DM to drive um, their AdWords product on their ad smart product. So for Google, it's one of their best performing channels. Shopify as well is another brand that uh, we work with in the US, but they also work in the UK as well. And what we do with those guys is we find the best business to business data so that we can target newly incorporated businesses who want to take up a Shopify platform. And for those guys, that's the best performing channel in the UK outside of search. So it shows that DM does work in a digital world, and that's something that we can go into a bit later. Some of the other brands as well, like you might see there, Hillary's, for example, a real traditional UK brand to use every offline channel and every online channel to drive awareness and about their brand. These are, just some, these are just some of the other products that we produce as well. So from the really simple to the complex, with Hillary's, for example, we do target home movers with a simple four page mailer and that drives a really good response. And then with something like Skybet, they want to make, make sure the impact is, is greater. So for them, they drive a pop-up piece, which is a bit more complex, a bit more involved, but it also takes people back online through a QR code to drive um, the commercial decision. So for me, this is some of the things that I'm really proud of and why print is so great. So like us and most of the brands that we work with, we all want the same things. We all want to reduce cost. We want to get more from our budgets. I think we all want to improve efficiencies uh, where we can add um, automation to do more with less. That could be less people or less budget as well. Um, we all want to be digital first because it's where we need to be. Um, and we need to embrace the digital channels. Even as a print business, we're embracing digital channels more, but we're also incorporating print into that. And we also want to be more sustainable, something that the guys at Webmark talk a lot about as well. Um, and that's a massive part of the future and where we're going as a business is to be more sustainable. So at the same time, we all want the same things. We all want to find more customers. We want to win more customers. We want to keep them. We also want to grow customers and we want a better customer lifetime value. That's all the things that we see working with the brands that we, work, that we are partners with. And hopefully you can relate to that as well. So if we all want the same things and we're all using the same channels, surely we're overwhelming our consumers. We're bombarding them every day. So if you look at this infographic, for example, like you've got 69,000 Taylor Swift streams, you've got 6,000 LinkedIn messages, our resumes going out every day, or every minute, sorry. Um, you've got 41.6 million WhatsApp messages. So for me, that shows that the online channels are really crowded and there's lots going on. And how we look at that, it's basically um, information overload. And what I mean by that is, if we're all use, putting the same efforts into that perceived area of how we target our audience, surely it means that we're, we're overwhelming them with too much information. So that's where mail comes in, and that's where mail can cut through, and it can really cut through to your clients. Um, an interesting fact by two sides, 49% pe of people stated they believed that they spent too long on digital channels or digital devices. So that's what print can offer. Um, mail can cut through the noise 
and have a positive impact. It's what we see across all the brands that engage with print in our, in our customer base. I mean, you really do need to turn it down online. I definitely get a lot of uh, feedback from my partner about being online too much. So yeah. Um, so I'm not here to tell you guys that you shouldn't be using your digital channels. In fact, it's the opposite, to be honest. This is why digital loves print. And from our experience, um, the way to avoid the noise um, is for you to use really targeted personalized print that amplifies and enhances the digital approach. Driving print that takes people back online. Print and digital are allies. In fact, I think we work with together to increase engagement and improve conversions. And that's what, and why does print do that? People love print and that's just a fact. Like, avoid, avoid the, com the competition in the digital space. Not as many communications are coming through our door these days. So I'll probably get maybe one or two pieces of mail every day, but every time I receive it, I open it and I put it in the bin or I keep it around the house so my partner can see it. It demands attention. As soon as it comes through the door, you pick it up and you do something with it. And it can also be revisited. On Digital channels cannot always be revisited all the time. So for me, that's why people love print. I think people love that tangible feel as well. Um, you can't touch, feel or smell pixels. Um, it's that emotive and physical picking up a piece of mail like catalogues, brochures, they stick around the household. The smell of it as well, a bit of a strange story, like when I was writing these slides, I was asking my partner Faye like, what she thought of print and what, why, she, why she used to always sniff everything that comes through the post, because I always felt that was really weird. Um, and what she said is that when she was eight years old, she was in a writing competition and she won. And she actually won a Take That biography. So that's quite a long time ago, a Take That biography. And she said the first thing she'd done was actually smell it. And she's never been able to replicate that smell with any other piece of print. So for her, she, she still tried to find that piece of print that takes her back to that time when she smelt that book, which is really weird. But that's what, that's what it is. So yeah, people can connect with a physical piece, so much so that it's revisited on average four times. Um, print also stays in the household up to seven days. And it's that disturbance factor, factor that I've talked about already. And also 31% of marketing mail that was sent addressed to specific recipients results in some form of action, some form of commercial action. And it's also worth noting that 87% of people describe mail as believable. And also it's the second most trusted channel outside of search. And that goes back to when you look at the government back in COVID times, the channel they used was mail because they wanted to communicate in a trusted way because sometimes online channels can't be trusted with fake news and Donald Trump loves fake news. So it's those sort of things that come in. And just some other sort of points that I would like to make around print and it boosts other channels. When people receive a piece of mail, they spend longer online viewing ads and content from that brand. 50% of under 35s say they want to receive more mail. So that's the future audience that we should be engaging with mail. And 65% who recalled the mailing uh, didn't recall any other medium. So for me, those are really strong points that point in the right direction for print. And that's why I love it so much as well. So yeah, I hear you say there might be a bit of an elephant in the room at the moment, um, and let me address that elephant or maybe elephants in the room. Some myths or some perceptions of print that I get that people talk to me about who don't understand print or have never used it before. These are just some of the things that people talk about. So, so print is junk mail. Yeah, possibly. It's not sustainable, possibly, but I don't always agree. You can't track it. Until now, you couldn't track it. Um, it's time consuming and, pe and they can't automate it. Later on, we'll talk about how we can automate mail and print. And um, you can't connect to it to digital activities, but that's something that we'll show later on as well. So yeah, data turns junk into just right. 
So badly thought out mail is just that, junk mail. Um, like badly thought out email is just spam mail. But using the right data at the right time with the right offer, it could turn the right message into just right for your clients and for your brands. With the right tech partner, the right print and DM partner, well, I'm going to say that, but um, every brand can achieve this really easily. So I'll just go into some case studies now of what we've worked on with some brands. So how does 10.2 million revenue sound? Would anyone like that as part of a marketing role? Would you get a good bonus for that, do you think? <laughs> Something that we worked with uh, a few years back with Wayfair as a brand is that we targeted um, home movers for Wayfair. So home movers is a really strong audience in the UK probably about over a million home movers every year. That's currently increasing by about 5% every month at the moment. And the volumes are fairly significant. So Wayfair used their data to target people before moves. So that's before you've moved, six weeks before, with products like beds, sofas, and then on move with more products like bedside tables, wardrobes, that sort of thing. And then after move, it's more like small products like pots and pans, um, for the kitchen, that type of product. And that to, in 1.1 million communications, that generated 10.2 million. So for every pound that Wayfair spent with us, they generated 21. So again, that's a channel that performed excellently for a complete online brand. So just, again, online brands embracing the DM is really critical. Another case study here that uh, talking about vets for pets. Um, this is showing where at the front end we've used email, then a letter 21 days before, then into a, a postcard and also email. And that drove a 70% response rate. And this piece of mail is really um, important to a brand like Vets for Pets because this is your annual vaccination for your pet. So I've got two dogs. I recently got them and I love them a bit. So for me, that's really important that that happens. But that this just really shows how we can drive digital and print at the same time and it drives an outcome which is better than just one channel. Another uh, digitally focused online brand, Pretty Little Thing, um, what they were struggling to do is communicate with some of their clients through email. They weren't getting that cut through, they weren't getting that engagement from them. So what they've done is they did a deep dive into their data and they, they had some data around their customers' birthday dates. So they sent out a simple birthday card with an offer that took people back online. It's a personalized offer to take you back online. And that generated an uplift in 8.4% of orders and also a 7% uplift in sales. So again, it's shown how a, a digital brand is using DM really effectively to drive that commercial decision. And that's why print is such a strong channel these days. So yeah, in this section, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, some brands that we've not worked with before, but some really impressive campaigns that I just loved and thought it would be a really good thing to share with you guys today. Um, so who would have thought like four years ago or five years ago when COVID hit is that we would start using QR codes again. QR codes are sort of went out. You always had to download an app to scan a QR code. Um, I mean, I didn't even know who John Travolta was before he was in Pulp Fiction and I'm 43. So that, that's how much QR codes have grown sort of thing over the last sort of four years. And that's something that tangibly that can take your clients directly back online from a DM piece. And even one of the biggest brands in the online marketplace, Amazon is using QR codes to drive people back to the exact product on the Amazon website. And that's, this is a holiday catalog that they produced a few years back. And again, it shows that strength in print and how it's, I always remember like this sort of product was the Argos catalog when I was younger. I used to get it every year and circle all the things that I wanted for Christmas. And then I would give it to my mom and dad and then they would just basically tell me to bugger off and I wasn't getting it, but that's basically what we go through. But it's that tangible piece of a, a catalog that, that these guys are pushing it back online exactly where they want their customers to be. 
And then this piece of mail is actually probably the best piece of mail that I've ever seen. And it's something that I think every brand should be doing if they've got a high value product. Um, Land Rover, when they were launching the Defender, um, sent out a DM piece and it had a physical button on the DM piece. So if you think of the amount of time that goes in to beat brands like Land Rover and the tactility of the buttons, how that, this button actually replicated the button in the car. There's not many channels out there that can actually drive that sort of tactility and that sort of interaction. And also when you think about like iPhone and those types of brands, the feedback that comes from products nowadays, that's so important to us consumers because we really want to feel and feel that something's happened as soon as we touch it. So what would happen, as soon as someone touched the button on this piece, it would basically send a message directly to your local dealership who would then instantly call you to organize um, a test drive and then also they would send a text message straight after that and also a follow-up email with the details and for them that drove 246 sales I think there was only five, 500 packs sent out because it's quite an expensive piece but for them that just drove that conversion and what they really wanted and what they were doing so it's that tactility and that sort of interaction that you just can't get online and the final case study, again, is uh, from our partners at Zappost and how they're using trackable QR codes to basically drive consumers back online. So I took, they received a 200% ROI in this campaign and that Q trackable QR code can also be um, driven into um, dashboards so that you can see the performance of that and link it in with your online channels as well. So it was a really powerful piece that generated an additional three pounds for every pound spent. So for Super Dry, that was an excellent performance. So yeah, so obviously for me, print and mail delivers. Hopefully for you guys, you can see that from some of the things I've shared. It's got relevance in a digital world. It's got higher engagement and recall. It boosts sales and that emotional connection with brands or two brands. And boosting sales with the right data at the right time, going back to what we talked about with Wayfair and using that right data to drive the right commercial action. And for us at Precision Proco, we can help anyone deliver that because of it being easy to use and easy to choose through automation, collaboration with the right partner like Zappost or Force 24 and drive impact through mail in a digital world. So yeah, that's me. So thanks for listening. Thank you.